Hello everyone, welcome back to some Dragon Quest. I hope you all had a peaceful respite. I hope you did as well, Mr. Priest. Uh, right then, so, um, what we're we gonna do today? I have a little bit of a plan. There's a couple of things. First of all, I want to head back to uh, Cobblestone and see if we can find Noah and get this item off him, whatever it is. And then I want to try the Might is Right quest which I think involves having to use the whale to access one of the whale way stations and then killing a, a bunch of enemies in hope that this thing will appear for the quest. But we'll, we'll do that when we come to it. First of all, we do need to find Noah. And if you think I sound a little bit rough, I am feeling a little bit rough. Uh, I caught a cold. Another one. Yay. Good times. Hey, Gemma! I think I've got it off my mother, and I'm very, very annoyed. Very, very displeased with her, and she knows it. I've told her. This is not on. I need to be not sick. Especially for the YouTubes. And she just didn't care. She just passed it on anyway, so you know what? Not not happy. Not an happy chappy. And I uh, I think you guys should comment saying how, how awful a person she is. And I will show her the comments, and she will feel bad. And she should do, because this is not on. Where the fuck is Noah going to be? I have no idea where he is. Uh, uh, I can't... Oh, wait a minute. There he is with his daughter. There we go. They fixed this place up a treat, eh? Only came here to help out, but I ain't leaving anytime soon. My daughter's made loads of mates. And if she's happy, then so am I. Uh, where's me manners? You told me about this place, innit? Here's something for you. Think, uh, think of it as more way of saying thanks. Thanks, mate. Noah's Archive. Okay. What the hell does that do? Feast your eyes on that, little beauty. It's only a collection of some of me choicest treasure tips. Loads of good gear hidden about the place. Oh, okay. Thank me later, yeah? Well, you that was your thanks, so I'm not going to thank you for thanking me. That's not how shit works, man. Right, okay. I'm so glad Cobblestone's nice and happy again. Let's check out this item. What does it do? Let's sort it. Noah's Archive. He pours over the archive. Seems there are 12 valuable hidden items in the area. Well, that's freaking awesome. It's a shame it doesn't tell me exactly where, but 12 hidden items? Are you kidding me? Is that just in Cobblestone? That can't be just in Cobblestone. 12? That's like a... F that's like a literal fucking fuckton of items. Dude, that can't be the case. It's got to be like this region. I don't know. But anyway, we're uh, we're done in cobblestone. Let's head to well, in fact let's use the uh, the the flute. Because we need to take to the skies and head to the Southern Hotto Step railway station. Now, I'll admit I did a little bit of looking around off screen because I thought that we would just have to go to the Hotto Step. I didn't realize that's not how you do this quest. So I was running around trying to find these goddamn enemies that we need to kill, and I couldn't find them. So I thought, you know what? Maybe there's something I'm missing. And yes, there was. So Hotto is to the southeast. Very, very close to the Dark Star. In fact, I think it's directly ahead of us. There's a couple of railway stations around here. There's one, um, Galopolis, I think this is... This is said one. You know what, we'll check this out first, actually. There might be an ultimate key door here or something cool. Probably some treasure. And then we'll go uh, attempt this quest. Which could take a while. I looked up online just to see how uh, how long it's taken people. And yeah, quite a while for some. Um, right, what have we got? A lot of sand. Um, cactuses. Any shinies around? Hmm. Ah, yes. Brighton Rock. I think we need some of those, actually. Or I did at one point. I don't know if I still do. Oh, man. I, I, it sucks feeling sick. I mean,
mean, I'm not nearly as bad as I was before Christmas, and I'm hoping I don't get that bad, but my god, it's annoying. So I've dosed myself up with meds. Oh, we've got more of the slot machine enemies. Well, they're probably different enemies. Let's fight one. Let's see what we get. Let's do... Quarter Slash. Oh, wow. Did that kill most? In fact, yeah, I think that killed every single one but one. Sweet. Nice and easy. Victory is ours. Pretty good XP. Oh, there's a ghost penguin. I wonder what that means. Usually there's an item of some kind. I don't see one. Ah, there is a tree. Give it a good kick. Yeah. Wormwood. Wormwood. And Spellbound Bow. Anything over in the pond? Yes, there is. Sainted Soma. Coolies. Right. Anything else? No chests, really. No freaking chests. You disappoint me, Railway Station. This is most, most disappointing. Oh well. Well, we've checked it out. I, I, that, oh, that ghost penguin's making me wonder. Making me wonder if there's anything else around here. Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe there is, but we'll, uh... I'm sure you guys will let me know. Right then, so back to the railway station. Oh, hello. Another one of those. Excellent. Let's head to the Hotto Step 1 and fight uh, a bunch of the enemies known as Bill Whores, I think. I think those are the ones that we need to kill. And someone online said they had to kill 70 of them before the enemy for the quest appeared. I really, really hope that is not the case for me. Because I know my luck has been pretty crappy recently, especially with the lack of jackpot. But I don't want to be spending that long fighting these dudes. I, I don't believe they're that difficult to kill, luckily. But still, 70 of them sounds a little bit excessive, if you ask me. Right, this is the one, I think. Yes. <sighs> right then. So, fingers crossed, guys, it won't take us too long. I'll try and keep track of how many it does actually take me. Because I am... If, if it, well, saying that, if it becomes excessive, I probably will lose track. And again, this... Um, Dancinium. This area isn't too big. In fact, I believe the only enemy that does spawn here is the one we're after, so that's cool. But, uh, again, no ultimate key door. But I do believe there is a chest. And that is the enemy we need to kill. There is a chest behind this dead piece of wood. And it is some technical dream cloth. And there are some shinies as well. This is a nice little sheltered area. It wasn't so out of the way and... I have a scary monster nearby be kind of cool. Although, I really do think this climate would be a little bit too hot for me. Alright, here we go. How many is it going to take? Oh, the two stun to move. Brilliant. So, we're just going to pretty much rely on the same sort of abilities. I might try and save a bit of MP. Because we are going to have to kill this super tough enemy as well, so... I don't know. But yeah, these things aren't ridiculously tough. Use some Kazam. Which didn't do as much as I thought it would. That's a shame. Reduce this attack, cool. Now, the thing we will get for this quest is a new axe for, uh, for Hendrix, so... I'm 
very, very excited to see how good it is. But that is basically what I'm going to be, going to be doing for the foreseeable future, hopefully not too long, so I will cut to when we finally come across the thing we need to, to find and kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I nearly, I nearly fell asleep, guys. It's been that long. It has been that long, and I did, in fact, lose count of how many fights it's taken. But here we go. He's finally appeared. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do to him. Now, do I want to use a pet power? Maybe not just yet. <clears throat> Let's just finish off the uh, regular dude, so we can focus on the main guy. Yeah, that actually took quite a while. Not as long as, you know, I'd been doing the, the frickin' casino, but still. Considerable amount of time. But not too much that I, it was frustrating, like, it was, it was fine, and I got a few levels as well, so that's okay. Not a complete waste of time. Let's, um... Yeah, let's do a multi-thrust. Oh, yeah. And these enemies, these kind of enemies do like to block quite often, which is annoying. Um, no one's gonna lose Pep, so I'm just gonna try to sap him a little bit. Um, let's buff ourselves. Not to give in. Holy balls, dude! Oh, and he gets two attacks. You suck. Well, Mage is down. That ain't that ain't good. I think we need Serena in the party, so I'm gonna, gonna swap her out. Mm, I think, yeah, we'll swap Rab. Veronica, perhaps? No. No. No, we'll be fine. Da -da -da -da. Sorry, I, I really feel like I'm a little bit lacking energy or enthusiasm. It's just I'm just not feeling great. I am enjoying the hell out of the game, trust me. Um, right, so Jade, what I want you to do is actually go for a revamp. Oh, really? Okay, that's not too bad. I desperately, 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 desperately need to bring uh, Mage back, but first we'll heal Jade. And she is just gonna go to town with another multi thrust. That's good damage, very nice. Why the hell is Serena not getting an attack in? Jesus, come on. Come on, Serena, what are you doing? What are you playing at? Alright, here we go. Kazing, bring him back, please. Almighty Idrisil, hear my prayer. Alright, hopefully no one dies this turn. His defense has returned to normal already? Dude! You, you just happen to get a, a desperate attack on Mage, of all people? You suck. You freaking suck, my friend. Have another multi thrust. Alright, and. Hmm. Actually, uh, you know what? I should have actually swapped Hendrick out. He's not doing much healing wise. <sighs> but there we go. Let's heal Serena. Alright, Kazing again. Please don't kill Mage again. That would really, really piss me off. You freaking did, too. You're trying. You're trying your best. Right. Still not going to lose Pep. That's awesome. Right, Mage. Unbridled Blit. Alright, he's down to yellow. We've got it. We've got this. Unless he does something incredibly, incredibly nasty. I reckon we'll be okay. Oh, see, they do love to block, especially Hendrix attacks. I'm wondering if it's because his agility is is pretty low, or his deafness. I reckon that's probably why. Oh, 
Nicely dodged, Jade! Right. Ugh, again. The, the pet, that pet power especially is pretty rubbish, so... Finish him! Oh, okay. Not quite, but soon. How about now? There he goes. He wasn't too bad. Wonderful. He hit like a freight train, but uh, it was pretty, you know, single targeting, so not too bad at all. And Eric is now level 62. Well done, Eric, my boy. And Rab, welcome to level 60. And we get... Oh! Oh! Okay. I thought we'd get that as a reward from the dude for doing the quest, not as an actual drop. But hey, Apollo's axe. Let's see how good it is. And yeah, we need to tell the old dude how it went. Which was pretty well. Uh, where is... Oh, that is looking pretty snazzy. It's like the sun. Oh. Yes. Blazes with the power of both fire and light. Pretty cool. We'll lose some MP. Not really fussed. Lose some charm. Not really fussed. Attack, though. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so pretty. That is really nice. Okay, we're done here. So, we can... Wait, where was the dude we actually did the quest for? I can't remember. Uh... Where was he? Which one was it? Might is right. Head back to the main square in Heliodor. Okay, right, let's do that then. To Heliodor, mage, my man. And it was, yeah, it was the main, main part of Heliodor, not downtown. Do, 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 do. So I guess we're just doing this just to complete the quest. We won't get anything from him. Although, can you imagine if that Apollo's axe was like a super rare drop from that particular enemy, and we're gonna get two of them? That would be cool. It's probably not the case, but, you know, a guy can dream. <sighs> Helidor's so pretty. I'm so glad it's restored. Right, he was up here, wasn't he? Yes, he is. Old dude. Got a story for you. It's quite a... Well, it's actually pretty... Pretty uneventful until the fight itself. So you're back, and I see that you must have bested Hamakis. I'm just gonna call him Hamakis. In battle, how can I tell you? Ask why? I see the wounds you still bear, the horror in your eyes. He was no ordinary foe. I can see that much. Nor should he have been, for in truth, he was once a mighty general in the ruined realm of Zwardrust. Really? Fate caught up with him when he faced a ruthless foe who led him into a terrible trap. Oh, well, that sucks. Fell into a state of utter despair at his defeat, and his body rose again to become the bitter, brutal Harmachis. But by defeating him, I feel certain that you have enabled him to find peace at last. You fought bravely and rescued a mighty warrior. Oh, we did get two! Holy shit! So that must have been a rare drop! No way! We've got two Apollo's axes? Really? That's crazy! Wow, how rare is that drop then? Do people get that all the time from him, or is it... That's weird. We got two of them, dudes. I don't really know what good two of them will do us. Maybe we can sell it for a pretty penny, or maybe we can, like... I don't know if it's used in any recipes or anything, but... Hey, we got two of them. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, right, what do we do now, then? I don't know. I should probably go use an inn of some description. And since we are in Helidor, I'm gonna go do that right now. And, uh, when you join me, uh, in a moment, I will have decided what we're gonna do next. So I will see you in a moment. Okay, um, right. Oh, where are we now? We are in the Insula Occidentalis. Uh, basically just because I need to pick up a, an item for a quest. Um, FYI, this has actually been in between cuts. There's been like a, a couple of days because, yeah, I'm still sick and I couldn't do, really record. But, as you will, um, as you will see soon, I did do something off screen which, uh, has been bothering me for a long time and I will show that very, very soon. 
Um, but first, I, what was the quest? There was a quest to get some sort of book or something for the for the mermaid in Nautica, the lawyer. And I think this is the island she mentioned. So if we go into the cabin, there is a chest. And we got a copy of the Solicitor's statutes. <laughs> Solicitor. Hereby bequeath my prized assizes unto you, my most honourable apprentice. May they aid you in delivering justice according to Nautican law. Alright, so we need to give it um, on the courtship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go back to Nautica and hand that in soon. But first, we are going to Octagonia. Because we have a quest to hand in... And I'm going to play the footage right about now, and you'll join me when we're handing... Well, yeah, I'm going to play the footage right now, okay? Here we go, now. So yes, chaps, it finally happened, and how amazing is it that it was the number 22? Oh, that didn't take as long as my last session trying the goddamn roulette, so I was pretty happy all around. And now we can hand in the quest. Uh, you did it, champ. You hit the jackpot. I gotta tell you, I never thought I'd see anybody pull it off. I gotta admit, I didn't think I would ever manage it, honestly. Guess I lost another bet, huh? But I don't mind, that was a whole lot of fun. Here, this is for you. So we got the vest for success. Uh, the statue? Oh, don't worry about that. I already asked one of my guys to take it to the orphanage. Oh, nice. Cool. Go ask your little friend, um... I actually don't remember what that is. A statue? Oh, of course! Yes, they want... Yeah, she wanted the statue back, didn't she? Also, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna... Yeah, we'll head back to the orphanage then. Um, is that vest for success any good? I'm um, thinking maybe for Sylv. Alright, it's not quite as good, but it does increase chance of um, monsters dropping stuff, which is nice. Oh man. So yeah, I just did that while I was um, out of commission, so to say. I am feeling a little bit better, hence why I'm, you know, recording now, but still pretty sick. So if I sneeze, or if I... <laughs> If I sound all phlegmy, I'm sorry. It's because I am. And I couldn't not uh, play this, and I checked like the, the length of the footage I'd already got, and it was only like 20 minutes, so I was like, that ain't long enough for a freaking video, so I'll just wait till I'm better and I can add to it, which uh, is what you're watching now. So yeah, I'm full of cold. Again, I, I mentioned that last time, but it did get a little bit worse. But um, I just loaded myself up full of orange juice, medicine, rubbed myself head to toe in Vicks Vapor Rub. Not quite head to toe, that would be weird, but, and also expensive. But yeah, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. I've been playing a lot of the Tales of Vesperia 
uh, remaster which was released very recently, and I'm loving it because I remember really loving that game on the 360. Great, great game. My favorite Tales game by far. Yeah, we still need to find that Zero dude. Right, this is the girl, isn't it? Hey, Mr. Mage. They just told me Uncle Vince's statue's being sent to the orphanage. Yay! It's all thanks to you. Oh, I can't wait to see Uncle Vince's face. You know he's a hero to all us kids at the orphanage, right? Yeah. He's an okay dude. He's made some mistakes, but... He is atoned. And she isn't going to give me anything. But at least we've pretty much closed off that quest line. Right, um, I don't know what else I was going to do. Oh yeah, go to Nautica, that's what we're going to do. Nautica, hand in this book to the mermaid. Where is Nautica? There it is. So I'll, I'll meet you when we're handing that in, because we have to go to the Queen and turn into the fish, and it's going to take a little, little bit of time. Okay, I'm right in front of the Queen. Um, did I... You know what? For some reason I'm thinking I've forgotten something. Like, you could... You would turn into a fish without going to see her? Or something? Or am I just making that up? I might have dreamt that. But anyway, we're very close to her. But I just thought, what happens if you use the, the conch? Or the conch shell? Let's use it. He can hear Queen Marina's voice. Well, she is right in front of us. Pray hear me, Luminary. Does my voice carry to you? It is I, yes. How curious a man you are! You stand here very near me, yet nonetheless you opt to use a seashell for you, uh, for to him. What? For to hear me? Okay, whatever. And uh, though it does not trouble me, it does make me ask why. Could it be the Luminary's actually quite shy? <laughs> I like that, so I just thought I'd show that. Um, but yeah. Turn me into the fish. So yeah, I can't remember if there's a way of getting turned into a fish without seeing her. Maybe I did dream that, but anyway, let's go hand in the quest. Let's descend. And I suppose I could pay another visit to the shark shop while we're here. Um, see what items he's got. Which is down on the left. Anything down there? No. Oh, I can feel a sneeze coming already. Shit. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, that's the museum. Wait, it's the shop. Oh, here it is. Is that the shop? No, that's the mermaid shop. Where's the shark? I thought he was in the weapon shop. Oh, here he is. Oh, it is the... Okay, I thought... Oh, the bank's in here as well. That's why I got confused. Right, anyway. Hey, Bruce. Oi, oi, what we got here then? It ain't every day I get a fish swimming into me shop. Really? Is it not? I don't know, you'd think that that would happen more often than not, but anyway. Um, let's see what he's got. Ooh. Again, not sure if I've seen this equipment before. I might have done. New whip. Possibly flowing dress. Okay, so there isn't anything that amazing there. The Corsair's coat that we've already got. Um, a fancy looking boomerang, but anyway, yes. Thanks, Bruce. Fish are friends, not food. We must f remember this. Oh, what's down here? Is this a shortcut? Ooh. I wonder what happens if you talk to that thing. Let's have a quick word with him. If I could freaking control this fish. Building up above is the Royal Terrarium. Scaly, uh, scaly scholars gather to research human beings. Yada yada yada. Nauticans are very proud of it. You're welcome to take a look. Alright, so nothing particularly special about you. You've got very creepy eyes. Uh, Alright. Oh, hang on this way. Be quicker. Do 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 do. There she is, on the courtship. Right, got your stuff. Welcome back, my friend. Did your trip to the shore succeed? Did you meet my mentor and bring back the notes I need? Well, we didn't meet any mentor, but we did get the book. 
didn't find my mentor on the island to the west. Only this casebook, stashed inside the bedside treasure chest. This is exactly what I need, my mentor's legal knowledge. It's sure to help me more than all the stuff I learned in college. <laughs> Let's see, when one def uh, defends a charge of criminal fin biting, there is an argument all able lawyers should be citing. Per se that sharks, the enemies of all fish kind, a boar feasting on fish with nibbled fins. Res ipsa look I pff, oh my god, that's that's something I don't know how to say. Um, a fish with nibbled fins is less likely to be predated. Um, but how does that fact help my client be exonerated? Wait, I think I understand. By chewing on the fish, he spared it from becoming a much bigger creature's dish. Yes, so it was a good thing. Yeah. Deep uh, debt of gratitude. Get it deep, the ocean? Get it? I'm sure this line of reasoning will spare my client prison. When faced with such sound sense, the judge can make but one decision. Thank you so much, Luminary. Here, this is for you. With all you've done for me, this is the least I can do. We've got a sovereign seal! Which is an accessory! <coughs> Excellent. I reckon she's gonna be a fine lawyer. <laughs> Seedlicitor. <laughs> right, let's check that um, accessory. I don't know who's gonna get it, or if anyone. Sovereign Seal. Provides protection from ice and darkness. 25% is pretty good. Hmm. I don't know who to give it to, though. If anyone, honestly. I don't know why I've still got the shield bearer on her. Because she's not using shields anymore. So I'm wondering if there would be a better accessory for her. Magical Might. Deafness, maybe. Prayer Ring. Fishnet Stockings. That's a point. Couldn't we have Serena in the in the old bunny suit? I don't know. Gun assassin, charm, fish neck stocking, sorcerer's ring. A bit more MP for her, perhaps. I just don't know. I just don't know if I want to give her anything more. Um, the garter. We'll give you a garter, even though that really does not suit your personality, Serena. There you go. Right, okay, so that's handed in. I don't know what else I want to do. So like I say, this video has been very choppy and frickin' stop and starty, so I don't actually know how much footage I've got, but I reckon it's probably enough for at least half an hour, hopefully. So I might just end it here. Um, and yeah, it's probably best, because like I say, I am still sick, and I don't want don't to put a strain on the old throat too much. But... Thank you to those who clarified the whole Michelle situation. Apparently it's a mistake by the developers. They got mixed up. It, or they, they were supposed to have the timeline thing go right back to the beginning of the game, but then they changed that, but forgot to, you know, keep Michelle dead, as it were. I mean, it's, it's weird that such a big mistake would happen in a game like this, but it's also nice because Michelle's alive now, and even if it doesn't really make sense, it's a happy ending, so... I'm not going to complain too much, but I, I'm just glad that I wasn't losing my mind too much because I was really confused for a second. I was like, wait, I'm sure that happened before the World Tree incident, but there you go. Everybody makes mistakes, guys. It's okay. It's all right to make mistakes. You learn from them. That ocean looks beautiful. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope uh, to see you in the next one, whenever that will be. I will try my best to get over this secondary cold as fast as I can, because it's uh, it's not fun, it's not fun, but it's nowhere near as bad as the one I had before Christmas, at least so far, so, uh, silver linings and all that, I will uh, wish you a wonderful rest of your day, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.